What is going on guys, Duck here back with another video and as you can tell by the title today I am showing you what is on my Nintendo Switch as of March 2nd, 2021. Now there's a good few titles on here that are pretty new to my Switch and I want you guys to see what I have on there and what I've been playing on there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out. Alright guys, here we are at my Nintendo Switch. Um, the Joy-Cons I have on are the Neon Green and the Fortnite Blue. The Fortnite Blue with the Battle Bus looks awesome. Um, so this is my current Nintendo Switch setup. This Nintendo Switch I got day one way back in 2017. And it hasn't let me down ever since. It's been a great console ever since. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into this. The first game on my Switch is, of course, Animal Crossing. I actually just jumped on that recently because I haven't played in, like, forever. So it was good to get back on there. Great game if you guys don't have it. Um, next up we have Fogs. This is a game by Coatsync. I absolutely love this game. You can get it on the eShop for I believe $19.99. Um, I'm really good friends with that company so of course they sent it to me um, and it's a great game. If you guys want me to do a review on that game let me know because I actually really really enjoy that game and if you haven't heard of it and you haven't checked it out definitely go ahead and check that one out. It's a great title. Next up Pokemon Sword. Uh, I've been playing this a little bit recently because of all the pokemon news and of course it's the 25th anniversary of pokemon so it's nice to hop in and back and you know play some of that and i also love shiny hunting in that game it's one of the most fun things you can do in that game great title if you don't have any pokemon game i highly recommend that one for your switch next up fortnite i should delete this because i literally do not play fortnite on here anymore um so that's just on there because i used to play fortnite on here but i don't anymore so there's really no reason for it Next up, Cake Bash. This is another one from Coat Sink. Um, I haven't gotten too deep into that game yet. I don't know much about it, uh, but the art style looks great. And um, yeah, I guess if you want to check it out, go ahead and check it out. Like I said, I probably should try it out and do a review on it, but I just haven't. Next up, Smash Bros. I mean, who doesn't have Smash Bros on their Switch? Great multiplayer game. Great to get with your friends. You know, throw a Joy-Con to a buddy and have fun playing that game. If you don't know Super Smash Bros, I mean, you're probably just living under a rock uh same thing with mario kart if you don't know what mario kart is you're definitely living under a rock um no questions asked great game uh two great you know first party games right here that you must have on your switch without a doubt next up ninjala now i haven't done much content on ninjala i did stream it a bit um when i first first got it i was actually really hooked on it it was a really great game um but i haven't really played it recently and to get an idea if you don't know what the game is uh basically it's like a splatoon you know 4v4 or i think it's a 3v3 i can't remember um but basically you guys just battle it out and you're like these little people you can change their outfits um the controls are kind of weird from what i remember but i mean it's a fun game it's a free game there's a battle pass so they do it kind of like fortnite uh with the battle pass type things so it, it's it's pretty good um but yeah that's 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 there splatoon 2 if you don't have splatoon i mean once again first party nintendo game you're li living under a rock if you don't have this game it's fantastic one of the best uh first party nintendo games in my opinion uh next up i got hulu uh just for watching hulu i don't even know if my i think i still have my hulu account but whatever i have it on there i don't know why they don't have netflix on the switch doesn't make sense to me uh, next up, YouTube. Don't really watch YouTube on my Switch, but I guess if I'm on the go somewhere, I mean, I would normally just watch it on my phone, but if I have my Switch with me, might as well. Jump Rope Challenge! Oh my gosh, this game's so fun. Uh, basically, you just move your Joy-Cons around and uh, jump rope and try to get the most uh, number of jumps. Uh, next up here, we have Tools Up. Now, this game was also uh, sent to me. Um, it's kind of like a moving... Uh, puzzle type game it's not bad i mean you definitely need people to play it with so if you really have no one to play with i don't recommend it but if you have people to play with it it's pretty fun uh ninjala ex i don't know what that is maybe that was the beta and they made it an exclusive cl club now i don't know rocket league um i also have on my xbox so i either play you know if i'm on the go and i have my switch i'll play it on here but i normally play it on my xbox castle crashers is a great great game 
to have on your Switch. Now, this was originally on the Xbox 360, and I absolutely love this game. I'm so happy it came to the Switch. It's such a good game. First off, Bethesda, thank you for sending that to me again. I really, really appreciate it because that was one of my favorite, favorite titles growing up. I always played this game. If you do not have Castle Crashers, I really, really, really recommend it. It's a side-scrolling, super, super fun game. There's also online now with it, which is awesome. Really, really, really fun game. Definitely check that out, guys, if you haven't already. Luigi's Mansion, another great first-party title. Um, but yeah, it's, I mean... If you if you like Luigi and you like you know if you if it's starting Halloween time it's definitely a great one but I mean if you're not if you don't have the money to spend I wouldn't personally pick it up but it, like I said if you're like a Luigi fan definitely check it out Super Mario Maker great title on the Wii U I'm glad they brought Super Mario Maker two to the Switch um, Breath of the Wild once again a first awesome first party title we got Breath of the Wild two coming. Um, honestly, if you own a Nintendo Switch, that's one of the first games you should play. Amazing, amazing game. No pun intended here. It's breathtaking. The scenery of the game and everything about the game is so, so good. Uh, Timberman is just kind of like, I don't know, I would call it a meme game. Uh, you just whack the little trees down, whoever can do it the fastest. Yeah. That's about it. Firewatch, great, great title. Um, I played it on my, I think, PlayStation originally um when it first came out it's a really really cool storyline um and the art style is absolutely gorgeous in that game box boy box girl really didn't play this i got this sent to me uh from nintendo i think i don't remember i think it was from nintendo i yeah i, I don't really know much about it to be honest uh, another first party one here that is great yoshi's crafted world uh ported from the Wii U, even though it's not really a port, but I'm going to call it a port because it's pretty much the same one as the one that was on the Wii U. Tetris 99, free-to-play game. Clearly, it's not on my Switch because it has the cloud thing. Um, I played that for like a day, and then that was really it. Uh, Pokemon Let's Go is... I would say I would get Pokemon Sword and Shield over it 9 times out of 10. Um, but the, the reason I really enjoyed this one was using the, the little Pokeball and um actually like interacting with the game like that uh it, it felt more really interactive when you got to use the pokeball and stuff donut county it's like a 10 minute game it's honestly like a 10 minute game but it's super fun if it's cheap on the eShop or, or if it ever ever becomes free pick it up it's a fun little game uh katamari uh re-roll another kind of like gimmicky game but it is fun you roll around picking up all the fruits and stuff um Battle for Atlas, Starlink. I did not play this. Jack actually played this on my Switch, um, and he really enjoyed it. He put, like, 10 hours on it. Um, Mario Party, okay. I want to talk about this really quick. I absolutely love Mario Party. For those of you who know what Mario Party is, one of the best, you know, first-party games ever. But I don't understand why the online, you don't have the board game. I don't understand that. I, if if they had the board game online, you could play with your friends across the world online with the board game, it would be, I would play it every day. I would literally play that every day with my friends, but they don't. So they miss the ball on that, but whatever. Nintendo Switch online, it's the, you know, all the NES stuff. Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, great game. Um, I did review that before, so if you want to dig deep in my channel to check that out, you can check that out. ARMS, I absolutely... <sighs> I wouldn't say I hate it, but I don't like it at all. It failed. It failed. It, people thought this was going to be like the next Super Smash Bros, and clearly it wasn't. Uh, another port from the Wii U. Uh, Pokemon Quest was free. That's why I got it. Uh, this is a great time passer game. Uh, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. If you're looking for something to like do in the airport or while you're waiting for the bus or just while you're waiting for something, it's a great time passer game. Sausage Sports Go. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Shoe is another game uh, I did review in the past. Uh, Mario Odyssey, another first party. Uh, Mar uh, another first party Nintendo game. Sorry, excuse me. Um, I mean, it's it's Mario. You can't go wrong with it. Xenoblade, I really didn't play much. I never really got into that series that much. And then Golf Story. Now, there is a new Golf Story coming out. And I think it's like all seasons thing. I'm not sure. I don't know when it comes out. But Golf Story was a great game. I kind of want to re-download it, but, or I just wait for the new uh, one to come out. But yeah, that's what's on my Nintendo Switch.
So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video of what is on my Nintendo Switch. Let me know what games you have on your Nintendo Switch down below in the comments. So guys, like and comment down below. Smack that subscribe button if you are new. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace!